Uh, hello, uh, I'm Jung Wan from Dole Chemical Korea. Uh, today, uh, I'd uh, like to talk about uh, the fabrication and performance of our thin-film compact uh, PR uh, membrane in Dole Chemical Korea. Uh, the contents of this presentation are as follows. Uh, first, I will begin with an uh, introduction of uh, uh, PRO technology. Then I will outline the step, uh, current status of uh, the PRO membrane. Uh, and then I will talk about the performance of our PRO membrane performance and finish by summarizing our result. Uh, then uh, let me explain the principle of the PRO process uh, when two solutions with different salt concentration uh, separated by same permeable membrane uh, were transposed from low salt concentration side uh, to high salt concentration side due to uh, osmotic pressure. Uh, however, in our process, uh, hydraulic pressure higher than osmotic pressure uh, is applied to high salt concentration side uh, and uh, water transfer from uh, high salt concentration side to low concentration side. Uh, in PRO process, uh, applied the hydraulic pressure uh, is less than osmotic pressure, so water uh, moves from low salt concentration side to high salt concentration side. Uh, we can use this pressure to uh, generate electricity. Uh, the power from uh, PRO process can be represented as a power uh, per uh, membrane area. Uh, this figure shows the relationship uh, between uh, osmotic pressure and water flux when using the same permeable membrane. Uh, when applied the pressure uh, is increased, uh, water flux uh, is decreased in PR mode. Uh, based on uh, this equation, uh, and we can uh, predict uh, the maximum power density when the applied pressure is half of the osmotic pressure uh, on piano membrane. Uh, earlier piano process, such as uh, the one uh, used as start clock, uh, used the seawater and river water for its process. Uh, this process showed the maximum power density uh, uh, at 10, 10 to uh, 12 bar uh, by using the osmotic pressure of seawater. Uh, this piano process uh, is uh, limited by the overall uh, low osmotic pressure and uh, high pretreatment cost uh, of both the river and sea water. Uh, this figure uh, shows uh, the PR process uh, supposed, uh, proposed by uh, the, our research group. Uh, when compared to the prior uh, PR process, our PR process has a much higher osmotic pressure uh, using out of line. Uh, maximum power density uh, is expected to be at about 25 bar. Uh, by using out of line as the draw solution, uh, pretreatment will not be uh, required uh, because it has already uh, been conducted in our stage. Uh, but in order to uh, use wastewater effluent for the field solution, uh, we expect some pretreatment uh, will be required to prevent the performance drop of PRO membrane. I expect that this PRO process uh, will be more energy efficient uh, than uh, the previous PRO process. Uh, in order to optimize a uh, PRO membrane with high performance, uh, the internal concentration polarization across the membrane must be minimized. Uh, the ICP affects the flux of the PRO membrane. Uh, if the ICP can be reduced, uh, we can produce uh, the PRO membrane with high performance. Uh, based on this equation, uh, the ICP of the PRO membrane is affected uh, by the structure and uh, properties of the uh, membrane. Uh, therefore, PRO performance uh, can be improved by a higher water permeability, fraction A, and lower memory structure parameter S, and salt permeability fraction B. Uh, this schematic shows uh, the effect of A, B, and S value on the performance uh, of the PRO membrane. 
uh, polyamide coating layer uh, affects A and B value. Uh, support to layer and backing layer uh, affects the S value. Uh, it's possible to improve the power density through uh, the improvement of the A value. Uh, I think that the optimization of B and S value is uh, much uh, more important as their increase uh, overall uh, effectiveness of osmotic pressure uh, on the membrane. Uh, this picture shows the manufacturing process of the simple composite PR membrane. The manufacturing process uh, is divided into two steps. Uh, in first step, uh, we conduct the casting of the hydrophilic polymer on the backing layer uh, to make the support layer. Uh, in second step, we use interpatial polymerization uh, process on the uh, support layer uh, to make the simply active layer. Uh, in case of the separation membrane uh, using uh, osmotic pressure such as uh, PRO or APO membrane, uh, the fabrication of uh, support layer uh, is very important. Uh, as uh, the support layer is made by using uh, hydrophilic polymer material uh, can reduce the ICP. Uh, the hydrophilicity of the support layer uh, can improve the effective osmotic pressure across the membrane. Also, active layer uh, has uh, thickness of 200 nanometer. Uh, it can be controlled uh, for higher A value and low B value. Uh, this uh, equipment shows a left scale PRO testing unit, and we tested the performance of our uh, PRO uh, using uh, sodium chloride. Uh, we can measure the water flux uh, of the uh, PRO membrane uh, sheet according to. Uh, apply the pressure and calculate the uh, power density uh, uh, using uh, this location. Uh, the A, uh, B, and uh, S value uh, represent the characteristic uh, of the PRO membrane. Uh, in our test, uh, uh, we can obtain the A and B value uh, through the measurement of a uh, lot of uh, flux and salt rejection. And we can uh, calculate uh, S values with the measurement of uh, uh, water flux uh, in PR test mode. Uh, this SEM image shows uh, the cross section image uh, of uh, first and second generation of uh, PR membrane. As shown on the picture, the structure of a support layer uh, shows a sponge like structure. Uh, in order to improve the pressure resistance, uh, we reduce the size of void uh, in uh, the support layer and increase uh, the hydrophilicity of the support layer. Uh, consequently, uh, we can uh, confirm a slight improvement uh, of power density from uh, first to second generation uh, PR membrane from uh, 2.6 watt per square meter uh, to 3.7 square watt per square meter uh, using a seawater condition. Uh, power density uh, was measured according to uh, the set, uh, concentration uh, of salt using uh, the second generation uh, piano membrane. Uh, this graph uh, showed uh, the performance of the piano membrane. Uh, it was measured at 35 uh, gram per liter of seawater condition uh, and 70 gram per liter uh, of RO brine condition. Uh, increasing the salt concentration improved both uh, the water flux and uh, uh, power density. Uh, the power density increased uh, to 6.1 watt per square meter uh, from uh, 3.7 watt per square meter, uh, 10 bar. Uh, in addition, uh, we can uh, find that uh, uh, model data is similar to uh, experimental data. Uh, as a result, we were able to predict the power, uh, maximum power density uh, of 10.6 uh, watt per square meter at uh, 26 bar using RO brine as uh, the solution. Uh, well, that uh, represent A, B, and S value of the second generation of PRO membrane. Uh, if uh, we double uh, the A value or decrease the uh, 
P value uh, by a uh, half the power density uh, is uh, uh, expected to increase by a uh, one watt per square meter. On the other hand, we uh, can reduce the S value uh, by half. Uh, the power density will be improved uh, by about two watt per square meter. Now, with this, uh, our Improvement strategy for high power density was to reduce the S value. Uh, this picture shows the cross section image, uh, SM image of our uh, PRO membrane uh, to reduce the S value. Uh, it can be reduced by uh, adjusting the backing layer and support layer. In particular, we can uh, reduce the S value easily by uh, reducing the thickness uh, and increasing the porosity of the backing layer. Uh, I tried to examine uh, the effect of power density uh, in accordance with the type of uh, backing layer using different non wooden fabric. Uh, I investi investigated uh, the effect of uh, thickness and air permeability of non wooden fabric. Uh, unfortunately, the power density uh, slightly increased, uh, but uh, there was no significant uh, improvement. Uh, so, uh, we also tried to further examine uh, the effect of power density uh, in accordance with air permeability by uh, using uh, very large uh, porous fabric. Uh, in case of porous fabric B, uh, the power density double uh, the using the same coating condition as a to layer. Uh, however, uh, so far, so for the uh, porous fabric A, the opening ratio was not large enough to uh, have uh, an uh, effect on the power density and porous fabric C had uh, too large of the uh, opening ratio and it uh, could not uh, endure uh, the applied pressure during uh, testing. Uh, this graph shows the performance of a PR membrane according, according to uh, type of the backing layer. Uh, solution of uh, seawater and brine, RO brine were used uh, as the draw, draw solution. As shown, uh, the power density using uh, the porous fabric uh, had a much higher power density than the uh, non wound fabric. And the experimental data uh, showed the slightly really lower uh, power density than the model data uh, due to ICP. Uh, in case of using uh, porous fabric, uh, the power density uh, showed a uh, large difference between experimental and model data, uh, as we uh, suspect that the deformation of the uh, support layer uh, caused a difference uh, between uh, experimental uh, and model data. Uh, because the pressure resistance of the uh, support layer uh, uh, using uh, porous fabric uh, was uh, lower than uh, that of the non woven uh, fabric, the deformation uh, was uh, more uh, severe for the uh, porous fabric membrane. However, uh, pure membrane uh, using porous fabric showed superior power density as compared uh, to uh, the uh, relative power density of the non wooden fabric. Uh, here is a graph uh, comparing A, B, S value uh, using a porous fabric and non wooden fabric uh, for the backing layer. Uh, in case uh, we're using a porous fabric, uh, for backing layer, uh, the power density was greatly improved uh, due to uh, increasing of A value uh, and decreasing of S value. Uh, in summary, uh, based on uh, the analysis of the PRO membrane uh, characteristic, uh, we were able to improve the performance of uh, PRO membrane by reducing the S value. Uh, by using a porous fabric uh, back layer, the S value was significantly reduced, uh, leading uh, to an improvement in power density. Uh, for the experiment, uh, using uh, the uh, porous fabric as back layer uh, need to be uh, conducted. Uh, by improving the pressure resistance uh, of the porous fabric, uh, we expect even more improvement to the uh, PRO membrane. Uh, thank you for your attention.